Hello and good evening. This is Michelle Orwick coming to you on August 11th. This is one of those days where we are all feeling the intensity of where we already are. So where are we is today is getting into that deep eclipse energy so we had the eclipse on Monday. This is Friday. We are deep into the Lion's Gate energy. So that happened um, on Tuesday. This is Friday. Today and tomorrow is an incredible deep meteor shower. Tomorrow, Mercury is going retrograde. Today, the moon is in Aries, which is a fire sign. So we're we're here and we feel that fire we feel that reversal of energy we feel that um intensity um we feel and know that we have to go further than we've ever gone uh before and so in that forward motion the real information that's coming deep deep inside my heart as i as I check in with my guides and and check in with um, the energy that's out there is to be in true blessed gratitude for just how far you've come. So really check into what have you accomplished since the last eclipse cycle with this intensity, which was in 2009. So really look into how far you've come and also look at what you're ready to let go of um, that isn't serving you. But today is really a gratitude spot. So to be able to really manifest what you want to manifest in this really awesome upcoming time, you have to really, really get grateful for how far you are today. And even if you're in that uncomfortable spot where Maybe something isn't working for you. Maybe maybe you are feeling like maybe you are at your absolute worst. Um, maybe this is your rock bottom. I want you to recognize that rock bottom is still a beginning. So it's, it's how far you've come. If you can recognize anything you've accomplished, anything you've earned, anything you've learned, any joys you've received in the last 10 or 20 years, now is the time to really get into that deep gratitude. Because otherwise today, we just want to be in the energy of, ah, you know, I've, I've talked to a lot of people today that just really are feeling err. And interestingly enough, I've been the opposite. I've, I've been feeling very um, hopeful and full of love and smiles. Um, a lot of times people aren't exactly where they want to be today. So if you had plans, a lot of plans are being canceled. A lot of um, things are being delayed um, in this eclipse time. Um, a lot of people are in a fear motion because it's mercury retrograde or stiffness because of this, um, of this sticky energy. And I'd rather you get into the energy of it really is an opportunity so in that opportunity flavor I want you to really really feel the peace in your heart for everything you have um, it's really a powerful opportunity for manifesting because um, we are we're we're going to move changes in the air it just isn't happening as fast like it's happening almost in a, in a weird paradox because things are happening all the time, swiftly, crazily, more than people can keep up with them. And then they have these moments, these pregnant pauses, where they're like, it's not happening. So what I really need you to do is just take that peaceful, peaceful moment of getting into your own light, getting into your own gratitude, recognizing just how shiningly beautiful and starry you are in your light, how magnificent you are in your light, how how much you've learned, how much you've grown, how far you've gone. So there is a seriously reflective 
um, energy today where, um, you know, love your loved ones, like tell them how much you love them. So if you're feeling disconnected in any way, shape or form, take a few minutes, send out messages to every single person that you, you are really grateful to have in your life. Um, send out the thank you letters and the um, do honest reviews of the places that you love. So often we um, only do reviews for the things that we dislike. So actually get out there and tell your favorite restaurant how awesome they were or the waiter that's taking care of you how awesome they are the car dealer, wh whoever that you're working with, really thank them, really go into what their struggles may be. Because right now, by you being the, the, the person who is thanking people, since every single person right now is feeling this energy, you might make someone stay more than you ever know. So I am telling people to spend some time reaching out reach out. If you are feeling any kind of dissonance in your life, think about somebody who needs you maybe more. And then there's that place where if there's someone who's graspy and reachy and needy, maybe this is the one time you just want to give it to them. Maybe this is the time that you have compassion. This is, this is the time where by looking at the fact that we're all somewhat in this energy together, we let go of the struggle and we unite as a front of you, human love. Recognize that love is going to be the solution in every way, shape or form. Take those slow, joyful moments for yourself every chance you get, whether that's um, since we are in the fire energy, tonight is an incredible day for ritual, um, ritual burning if you want to take all of your troubles and write them down and put them on paper and the things you need to let go of the feelings you need to let go of the emotions you need to let go of write them all down and tonight's a great night for a bonfire or just taking a piece of paper and tearing it up and burning it um, just what do you need to do to get all the yuck out and get into the spot where gratitude prevails so as you are getting into the energy of gratitude think about what is possible and not how fast you want it skip skip when it's gonna happen today because there is nothing in your control with this astrological energy and as soon as you can realize that as soon as you can just say the um, control is no longer mine the way I react to it is mine when you realize that everything is possible and the universe has its own divine timing what you can do is recognize what you really want to occur what you really want to bring in what you really want to focus on live in be in you you can focus on that you can look at what is possible in the near future instead of what do I need to make happen by tomorrow or by next week or by next month. So action steps toward that is fantastic, but getting in super control on timelines right now, probably not gonna work for you. So patience really is the virtue of the day. Um, gratitude is the virtue of the day. Compassion is the virtue of the day. and. For those of you who are listening, compassion for yourself is the biggest one. Really saying, I am doing the best I can. Maybe my life is kind of falling apart right now. Um, some of you, your lives may be, be absolutely fantastic and putting things together in the best way you've ever seen them. So that's good. Um, I just know that there are there's like two sets of people right now, the ones that feel like everything everything is just rough and they don't know what to do, and then the other ones that feel like everything's amazing, but it's not happening necessarily in the speed that they want it to. So either side, I want you to get grounded, get really real, get creative. This is ideas time. 
if you can get quiet with yourself, that's why I'm I'm recommending bonfires tonight. In fact, as soon as I get off this um, this feed, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna make a little bonfire and really kind of get into that into that energy. So, if there's anybody who is feeling like you need something, create a ritual for yourself, whether that's a a bath or a fire, a, a journal. Um, Get up in the morning, and if you're here in uh, Orlando, come over to Cole and go to um, Rachel's yoga class. She's subbing for Erica. So, hi, Erica. We will miss you, but we're grateful that Erica is still going to be doing your class tomorrow. Um, so, maybe get mindful on your on your real positions on what you're going to do this weekend. It's a uh, it's a very powerful time. So. So be mindful. Mindfulness is exceptionally important. Um, put on that music that soothes your soul. Uh, look at a fire. Look, go to nature. Um, for my Florida friends, the beach, the springs, anything that makes you feel uh, peaceful and calm. For my northern friends, this is I hear the weather is just spectacular up there. So get out and enjoy that uh, summer weather you know, take take a ride with your windows down or or whatever it is you need to do because this is peaceful time. You need to create peace in your life. If you're homebound and you want to uh, create ritual, light some candles. You can see I have the candles lit. I've got incense lit right now. Um, create a, a bath ritual if you need to. Create a writing ritual if you need to. Whatever it is that's going to bring you some solid peace. Um, it's, it's not a hardship. It's often seen as when things are sticky and weird that it's a hardship. I'm saying that it's an opportunity to get reflective. And here's Rachel right now. Hi, Rachel. I was just plugging your class in the morning. So one of the things I want you to do is really go in to that mindfulness this weekend and be, be realizing that with the meteor shower especially, our emotions are intense. We are feeling very uh, powerfully uh, ready to heal on a soul level. So this is, this is soul time. This is, this is, who is in your own heart, in your own mind? Who do you need to be grateful for? And who do you need to let go of their stuff? So if you are walking around uh, worrying about other people, my big, my big um, feel right now is if you're worried about other people instead of yourself, just let that go because you can't be in control of what other people are doing, what other choices. Now it's interesting because a lot of us are waiting for other people to make their choices so we can make our choices. And so with that, you let go of the control, you let go of the energy of what if, and you move into the energy of grateful for what can be. So right now, if you once you're done with the grateful for what you have, and you and you do that gratitude for those that you love and those that have been there for you the next step if you really want to get moving forward in this energy is to be grateful for what's possible letting go of what you're holding on to from other people any expectations of them and what they may or may not do anything as far as worry and concern about them and their situation because it's out of our power um, we do have the ability to co-create and control certain aspects of our own lives. So what I do when I'm really worried about another person's well-being is I fast forward all the way up into, um, into the future and see them happily in a situation that includes me because that's my reality, right? So you see them really, really happy and you really, really happy somewhere in the future because the right now is so 
um, mutable right now. So just go out uh, a period of time and really kind of get into what it feels like to be happy with the person that you're worried about instead of worried about their current situation. See them happy. See you happy with them. See the the manifestation of everything working out just exactly the way you needed it to and the way they needed it to. So let other people know that you love them. Let other people go as far as your worries and concerns and let yourself feel very deeply peaceful with the fact that this is a time of change. Get really into that piece um, of change and really into that place of loving the loving yourself into a future reality that is so powerful, so beautiful, so what you want rather than what you fear. There's a lot of fear to, to be released here. And I know a lot of you who are watching have already conquered a good portion of your fears or you wouldn't be here listening to me today. So what you're really bumping up against now as you're starting to evolve is frustration on the other people that haven't gotten where you are. So this is part of the second part of an enlightenment process where you're being enlightened but you realize that everybody else has to get enlightened for you to be in a world that's peaceful and joyful and, and evolved, right? So that actually requires you to let go. That requires you to accept them, to love them, to live in non-judgment. So when you're saying, oh, they're not where I want them to be, you're starting to judge. So, and everybody makes judgments so i'm not trying to make anybody feel bad here what i'm asking you to do is move into acceptance of the people you love the people that you're surrounded by the people that are making choices that you wouldn't make and accept them for where they are accept them for not making whatever choice you need them to make so that you can move into this bright future yourself and sometimes that means letting them go and and having them come back around into your life or not in the future. Or if there's someone really close to you, someone who's in your world and their choices are going to affect you, make choices, strong choices that are for you and stop limiting yourself because of them. So what I wanna do is actually have each of you activate a little piece of your soul tonight. So I've been thinking about this all day since this is such a big day, such a big time. And yes, every day for the next several weeks is such a big time. I wanted to give you this opportunity to really feel supported by the universe, feel supported by the and loved by what's going on around you. So I want you to take a couple deep, deep breaths. Really breathe into the love you have for yourself. That's a full exhale and a full inhale. So when you're exhaling, make sure that you're pushing that ener energy all the way out. Everything you're holding on to, the stress and tension of the day, move your head. We carry it so much in our neck and shoulders. I want you to just do what you need to do here to just breathe out. And then as you're moving in, breathe in that gratitude that you're feeling that beautiful, enlightened place of peace and joy. Hmm. So one of the things I want you to do as you are getting into this relaxed state is to recognize anytime something comes in that you don't like and just put it in a bubble and let it go. So anytime you're meditating and some thought you don't like comes in, I just want you to place it in a bubble and let it go. 
because there's a lot of um, belief that meditation is emptying your mind and that's never gonna happen for me so I meditate all the time and it's very mindful and it's very full of of thoughts and so we recognize thoughts and ones that aren't part of our meditation we just let it go most of my meditations are about visualizing love energy filling up my body with unconditional love re re-energizing my physical body so understand that as you're doing this your mind is going to have thoughts come in and that's okay so as you relax I want you to close your eyes I want you to come into a place where you're feeling peaceful I want you to come into a place where you are recognizing that you have so much and take just a few minutes to think about everything even if it was something that normally you would be mad at yourself for thank yourself for for whatever you had to eat today thank yourself for the roof you have above your head and possibly the vehicle you drive or the friends that you have or the family that you have what opportunities that someone else on this planet may not have is it just good water are you are you sometimes struggling with what you do have here is a time for you to recognize how much you do here is a time to recognize how far you have come in manifesting so I see two people have just joined me both uh, Tiffany and Jennifer and, and I know Camille you're watching too I know how far you have come even if you have a lot more to go I want you to really really take a moment to see how far you've come how you have been manifesting all that you actually already have and yes, by recognizing how far you've come, you can see how much potential you have in the near, near future to get exactly what you're going to be receiving. You are going, you are coming into a time, you are in a time where things are happening faster than they've ever happened on the planet. Ooh letting go of that feeling that you aren't enough let go of that feeling that you haven't gone far enough that you aren't where you need to be that you aren't where you should be because right now accept that you are exactly where the universe has put you hmm I am who I am and who I am is about to become even more magnificent so take a moment here and say, I love you. I love you. I love you. This is the time for you to be deeply and magnificently in love with yourself, in gratitude with exactly how far you've come, how far you can be, who you're about to be, who you're going to be and what you're already creating in the universe right now and know that the universe supports that with total love for you the universe says I love you the universe says I love you the universe says I love you and when you realize that you're a divine spark of the universe you realize that you are also in love with you as well Hmm, there's the peace filling out the entire body that you know how to feel recognize and feel where you are is okay that where you're going is possible and that you are a moment in time right now that will be growing into a ball of exactly what you want and what you need and where you are just open to be 
So I want you to say yes to bringing every piece of you back into your body, all of your soul fragments that you've let go, all of the things that have released into the world out of trauma and pain. Bring yourself back into your body whole and new again. And let go of your failures, let go of your fears, and let go of your expectations of where you should be in this moment right now. That deep acceptance of who you are allows you to become who you can and will be. Ah, so, as we move through this very special time on the planet, I send you love deep from my heart. I call you to be filled with the love that the universe sends, that I am just the healer here, I am the witness. You are actually the creator of your own love, your own transformation, your own healing. So. In this moment, I say I am grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. How each of you have touched my life every day, made me feel so supported, made me feel so powerful in my own center. Getting back into your own center is really going to be the key in, over the next few days. So I will be back again tomorrow for our energy updates through this special, beautiful, and incredible times. So namaste to each and every one of you. I love you, and when in doubt, go into gratitude. Thank you, and have a beautiful night.